Senator Galt tells us what Congressman Byron Donalds and Senator Marco Rubio are doing now to get those five people out of Gaza. John Rauschenberger told me his phone has been blowing up since my story Thursday at 6. Congressman Byron Donald's office told John he is putting pressure on the Biden administration to open the border to get them out. Senator Marco Rubio called to say he's working on a plan of action, too. John's daughter, Emily, went to Gaza with her husband, a British citizen, and their five children to visit his family's olive tree farm. They're now in a war zone with no escape. Before her phone's battery died Thursday, she told me the bombing is constant. When I spoke to her dad today, he told me Emily got an alert from the Israeli army. Her shelter is set to be bombed. Now she and her family are trying to move to another one. Amazingly, the bombing isn't what scares John the most. It's Hamas that terrifies him. The, her the horrific Hamas, you know, has done unspeakable things uh, and they've c captured Israelis, but they'll be happy to capture. There's Americans missing too as hostages. When it's your own daughter and your own five grandkids, you know, it, it hits and hurts in the heart. John told me he hopes Donald's and Rubio can do something before it's too late. Donald's office told me they are in constant communication with the Rauschenberger family. And they'll do everything they can to get Emily and her family out. Senator Rubio's office told me they'll keep me in the loop on how they plan to do it. Back to you.